projection bullshit. Also known as judgment bullshit. Also known as making it about somebody else bullshit. So many ways to talk about projection bullshit. The essence of projection bullshit and the basically the way that you can know whether you are in your projection bullshit or not is to ask that first question we talked about. Is it true? Can you be absolutely certain that it's true? It's the first first way to call out projection bullshit. We project all kinds of things onto other people. We say things like, that guy's lazy, or she never listens to me, or he's out to get me, or my mom never loved me, okay? All these things are projection bullshit, okay? This is you telling stories about the world. The human mind is an amazing storyteller. It does stories all the time. But the truth is, the fact is, that you don't actually know what anybody else is thinking until they tell you. You don't actually know what people's motivations are. Our projection bullshit pretty much always increases the level of tension in a conversation. It it decreases the level of connection and it makes people react. It's a, it's, a, it's a way to elicit resistance and reaction at a moment when typically we're actually wanting to connect. One of the things that projection bullshit tends to do is it globalizes. It makes mountains out of molehills. It takes discrete instances and it says always or never and it makes them into these global phenomena. And Frankly, it's a lot easier to deal with discrete instances and singular things than it is to deal with global phenomena. You're not going to change the world overnight, but you can probably have a productive conversation about one instance of somebody doing something that you didn't enjoy. So, starting with the facts is really important. What I mean by a fact or an observation is literally what the camera would catch if it was watching an interaction. What the microphone would catch if it was listening to an interaction. These are facts, these are observations. So an exaggeration or a projection might be, you left a mess all over the living room. I don't don't even know what you mean by that. An observation would be, wow, when I came home there were socks on the floor in the living room, dirty dishes on the couch, and um, there were, were towels piled up next to the door. Those are observations, those are observable facts. We can both agree on that. Some people might not call that a mess. The problem with that is that when I come to somebody to have a productive conversation, hopefully to get my needs met, and I tell a story at them that doesn't match up with their story, then all of a sudden we're in opposite corners of the ring. If I say to you, you never do the dishes, what's the first thing you think of? the last time you did the dishes. So again, opposite corners. When we start with shared reality, when we start with my friend fact, we're much more likely to have a concrete, grounded, productive conversation about whatever it is that we're talking about.